Hello, hello, Magic English 8 here. Thank you for watching my video clips. Today I am with you with another unit of our book for advanced grammar, and that is communicate what you mean. So far, we have covered different parts of the book about which I will tell you, but today our job is lesson six of the book talking about conjunctive adverbs. And just a bit of review on what we have had so far. Here we started our book with part two talking about coordination in the bottom of the page 48 we talked about coordinating conjunctions and they were these seven fanboys and but four nor or so yet. So what we are talking about today are Conjunctive adverbs, which are synonymous with those coordinating conjunctions in meaning, but a bit more formal. Better for academic writing, for more formal speaking, and especially for candidates of IELTS, TOEFL exam, and all other standardized tests, these are very important and useful. So without further ado, here in our Word file, communicate what you mean pages 68 to 70 we will cover today and uh, we'll start with conjunctive adverbs a bit about them what are they conjunctive adverbs or words that join independent clauses together so as you remember coordinating conjunctions used to connect words phrases dependent clauses and independent clauses but here conjunctive adverbs only connect independent clauses together they show a relationship between ideas transition between thoughts or emphasize a point as we will go down you will understand what these points are and they often indicate contrast addition cause or sequence about each i will talk today here i have prepared a table for you to see at a glance what the relationship between conjunctive adverbs and coordinating conjunctions is conjunctive adverbs of contrast addition cause result and condition today we will talk about conjunctive adverbs of contrast are in our book nevertheless however still in on the contrary synonymous with these we got but and yet both of them talk about contrast so in a nutshell all of these guys mean but conjunctive adverbs of addition and they are moreover furthermore in addition besides and in fact and meaning for them is and all of them come in order to add some meaning to the previous sentence so the meaning for all of them is and and of course it could be nor because nor also means and the thing is that nor means a not and b not so two negative ideas are connected together with a nor also for cause result i will talk about therefore consequently as a result hence and thus and all of them mean so and the last condition conjunctive adverb of condition is otherwise which means or okay so here in table i just wanted you to know meaning wise how these conjunctive adverbs and coordinating conjunctions are related together and now back to our story not a bad idea for you to have a picture of this part and save it for yourself print it out it's really useful for you heading back to our story and that is starting with conjunctive adverbs of contrast and they are these three plus on the contrary however nevertheless and still all the three mean but and regarding the meaning they are the same not that much of a difference on the contrary also means but the point is that on the contrary connects two opposite ideas together i will tell you a bit later talking with talking about however however shows contrast as you know for example 
she studied hard for the exam. However, she didn't, didn't perform well, but she didn't perform well. So meaning wise, it is synonymous with but. Nevertheless, it is similar to however. The point is that it signals a contrast which is often stronger. Hmm? So it is stronger and more formal than however, but the meaning is the same. The weather was cold. Nevertheless, they decided to go for a hike. So can I put a however here? Sure. Can I put a still here? Sure. But not a bad idea. You have different items in your toolkit, in your grammar toolkit, in order to show your mastery. So sometimes you use however, sometimes you use nevertheless, sometimes but, yet, still, and it shows your proficiency in the usage of uh, these tools. Still, typically used to emphasize that despite a preceding situation, something that was mentioned before, the contrasted idea remains true. Now, what does that mean? It means we have talked about something before, and despite that, still the idea continues. Still, it remains true. She failed the first attempt. Still, she decided to try again. It means although she failed the first attempt, she wanted to try again. So, can I put a however, a nevertheless here? Sure, you can. And in summary, however is a general purpose term for contrast. However is used more than the other guys. Nevertheless, a bit stronger. Still emphasizes persistence, continuation despite a preceding situation. Okay, and uh, the only thing that could be classified as different from these three guys is on the contrary. On the contrary, again talks about uh, contrast. However, the point is that it indicates two opposite ideas. What does that mean? A says, I heard the movie was boring. B says, on the contrary, I found it very exciting and engaging. Engaging movie. Beautiful. Engaging. So, on the contrary, here, boring, exciting. It's a better choice. Another question. Can I use however, nevertheless, still in this place? Yes. Which one is better? On the contrary is a better choice, but they are all interchangeable. So we talked about conjunctive adverbs of contrast. Now, exercise one on page 69, but before that, taking a look at the book <clears throat> on page 68, conjunctive adverbs of contrast says men smoke less than in the past. However, the number of women who smoke is increasing means but means yet studies show that cigarette smoking is dangerous to one's health nevertheless millions of people continue to smoke however still millions of people so you see all of these three can be used talking about contrast our last test our last exam wasn't difficult on the contrary it was easy easy difficult so two opposite items two opposite ideas on the country is a better choice. And nothing else left us for this part. Just exercise one on page 69. Page 68, sorry. It is page 68, so here I have made a mistake. It is page 68. So choose one of these two options. If I were in your shoes, I wouldn't worry about this exercise because here as I told you all of these are kind of interchangeable but here it's contrasting them I didn't like this exercise that much but let's cover it my roommate and I ought to study during spring break are going to take a vacation nevertheless we are going to take a vacation so but taking a vacation is not opposite of studying so I say here, nevertheless, is a better choice than on the contrary. Number two, just one point here, we have ought to. Ought to means should, 
it means this is the best thing to do it means it's a strong recommendation so ought to means should or means had better number two <clears throat> i had planned to drive to mexico my car is too old so however is good nevertheless is good both of them are good maybe maybe nevertheless is preferable maybe however is preferable because these two points are not that strongly in opposition i say both of them can be used number three my roommate doesn't like hot wet hot weather still he wants to go to mexico with me so despite that idea despite the persistence of that idea he wants to come with me and these two points are not opposite of each other so still is a better choice scuba diving number four scuba diving isn't cheap on the contrary it can be expensive cheap expensive on the contrary i have gone scuba diving many times i still have to be careful nevertheless i have to be so scuba diving and being careful these two ideas are not opposite nevertheless is a better choice i don't speak french very well however i speak spanish beautifully so speaking spanish is not the opposite of speaking french that's why i suggest however number seven i took french for four years in high school nevertheless i don't speak it very well i took french for four years i took french for four years what is the difference between these two fours this one doesn't carry any stress this one carries stress so i say i took french for four years for four years and uh, because these two ideas are not opposite my suggestion is nevertheless number eight i enjoyed the trip very much my roommate didn't however my roommate didn't still my roommate didn't i think both both of these ideas are correct my preference is however number nine i enjoyed the trip very much still i'm happy to be home yeah so these two again are not opposite this was exercise one we covered conjunctive adverbs of contrast now conjunctive adverbs of addition and what are they if we take a look at our book conjunctive adverbs of addition are moreover furthermore in addition besides and in fact so what are they moreover and all of them mean and moreover indicates a, a higher level of importance or provides additional support for the previous statement so it means i am adding something to the previous one however this is more important than the previous one i mentioned and that moreover indicates that the new information is not just an addition but also enhances the existing point so it adds to the meaning of the previous point it shows a, a higher level of importance which is added so that is the meaning and function of uh, moreover examples of moreover the experiment yielded valuable results moreover it contributed to scientific knowledge so contributing to scientific knowledge is a higher level of importance compared to the previous one which is uh, having valuable results yielding valuable results so it means uh, the experiment yielded or had or brought brought about the experiment yielded valuable results and it contributed to scientific knowledge moreover it contributed to scientific knowledge very beautiful number two she is highly qualified for the job moreover she has a strong work ethic so being qualified for a job is beautiful but more important than that she has a strong work ethic which could be useful not only in the job but also everywhere else and that is a more important or a high level of importance so we talked about moreover here we go furthermore furthermore suggests that the new information is building upon the previous point 
it means which is added to the previous point, creating a sense of continuity. It means these things are linked together in a chain fashion. They are continuous. Implies a progression of ideas. Progression of ideas means ideas are being built one after the other. Furthermore, examples of furthermore, she excels in mathematics. Furthermore, she has a strong passion for computer science. Okay, so computer science somehow dependent on mathematics or maybe more than somehow dependent on mathematics. So that's why it says it is building upon the previous point. So mathematics is a prerequisite to computer science. Can I use more over here? Sure you can. Can I use and? Sure you can. The research finding provided valuable insights into the topic. Furthermore, they laid the foundation for future studies in the field. Lay the foundation for something. Very beautiful. Lay the foundation. L-A-Y. L-A-Y. Lay the foundation for something. Very beautiful. Okay, so this was moreover and furthermore we talked about in addition. In addition adds another point that is related to the one you have just mentioned. It means it adds another point. Nothing more than that. It is often used at the beginning of a sentence. Could be also in the middle as well, but generally. Examples with in addition, we need more supplies for the project. In addition, we should hire an extra hand. Hire an extra hand. Beautiful. The team trained hard for the match. In addition, they focused on strategy. Again, synonymous with moreover, with furthermore. Besides, besides the just an additional point that may be somewhat different from the previous one. So here I am adding another point to the previous one, which is slightly different from the previous. In the examples, you will get it. Besides is often used to introduce a point that contrast with the preceding point. Mm -hmm. Contrast. It indicates, it indicates an exception or an alternative perspective. Mm -hmm. So it is, um, because it's different, because it contrasts, it is an exception, indicates. It may imply in addition to this point or apart from this. So the meaning of besides could sometimes be these guys. How? The hotel is near the beach. Besides, it has a beautiful pool. So added to that, this one is addition with not a difference in meaning. But look at this one. He has a busy schedule. Besides, he volunteers at the local shelter. So here these two points are somehow contrasting. Can I here use a however? Sure, he has a busy schedule, but he volunteers. However, he was. So you see, this is not like mathematics, which has just one correct answer. This is language, which is in the area of art. And that could sometimes depend on your taste, your preference. She is an excellent cook. Besides, she excels in gardening. So these two ideas are different. They are not in the same category. Cooking gardening besides okay and in fact what is in fact in fact also means and in fact also means i want to add something to the previous one but it introduces additional information which is sometimes surprising in fact is a paraphrase of the previous sentence hmm? So it kind of says this previous sentence in another form, in another fashion. That is a paraphrase. And provides evidence, support, clarification for the preceding statement. Okay, examples. So in Calcutta, he was a mere stranger. In fact, he was like a fish out of water. So being a mere stranger means that you don't know anyone there. So what does this sentence overall mean? It means this one. He was a fish out of water. So that's why I say, in fact, paraphrase the sentence, 
before. And I know the mayor really well. This is the example taken from Lyman Dictionary. I know the mayor really well. In fact, I had dinner with her last week. So it is adding information, but it's somehow surprising. How could someone have dinner with the mayor? Mm -hmm. So that is the story of in fact. We talked about conjunctive adverbs of contrast. We talked about conjunctive adverbs of addition. And here, conjunctive adverbs of cause result, which are, if we, uh, so before that, here I read the examples of conjunctive adverbs of addition. The book says, Barbara's biology professor encouraged her to go to graduate school. Moreover, furthermore, in addition, he nominated Barbara for a graduate scholarship. So you see, meanings are synonym. Barbara majored in biology because she was fascinated by the subject. Besides, she knew it would help her get a high paying job in the future. It means I am thinking about a reason for the sentence before. It means and because, and because of that, something like this. Barbara passed all her examinations. In fact, she graduated. So when you graduate with honors, it's passing all of the exams. This is kind of a paraphrase of the sentence before. Okay, and now page 70, conjunctive adverbs of cause result. Therefore, signifies a conclusion drawn from the previous. What does it mean? It means so. It expresses a logical result. Therefore, what does consequently mean? Similar to therefore, it indicates a result, effect following a given. So it means again, so. As a result, introduces the consequence or outcome of the particular action or situation. It means so. Thus, shows the logical result of the pre preceding statement or action is often interchangeable with therefore. And hence, as similar to thus, it indicates a logical conclusion or inference from the previous statement or circumstance. In a nutshell, all of them are similar to each other. Conclusion says, why these words and phrases share similarities? Their choice often depends on the context and the writer's preference for style. So you are taking your IELTS exam, your TOEFL exam, or any other exam like that. Not a bad idea. Or why do I say not a bad idea? It's brilliant to open your toolkit and have different items for connecting ideas together. It contributes to your CC or coherence, cohesion of your writing and your speaking. Conjunctive adverbs of condition before going here. Cause result in the book. I can't speak French very well. Therefore, consequently, as a result, I didn't enjoy my trip to France. There have been fewer factory orders for new airplanes. Hence, many employed in the building of airplanes are fearful of losing their jobs. A logical conclusion of the previous statement. Airfares are going down, thus more and more people are able to afford air travel. Afford something to have enough money to pay for it. Conjunctive adverb of condition. Otherwise, it means if the previous sentence not. If the previous sentence not. What does that mean? You should study for the exam. Otherwise, you might fail. If you do not study, you might fail. Or, eat your vegetables. Otherwise, you won't get any dessert. So, if you do not eat your vegetables. Complete the project on time. Otherwise, we will face penalties if we do not. Yeah? And here, our book it's got a very beautiful example here. We must find solutions to the problems of pollution. Otherwise, we may all be wearing gas masks one day. If we do not. So, a sentence like this is really beautiful for your writing. For example, your writing is about uh, air pollution, problems with large cities or anything related to that. And you can put it in the conclusion of your writing. 
you have said everything and you say finally we must find solutions to the problems of pollution otherwise we may all be wearing gas masks one day and your writing finishes very beautifully nice and clean and b don't be absent from class otherwise you will miss the review if you are absent you will miss the review and conjunctive adverbs of time sequence which are not that much difficult they are just talking about uh, steps of doing something or uh, the different uh, stages of something first then next afterward later finally all of these are conjunctive adverbs of time sequence conjunctive adverbs of time sequence show and organize the order or the sequence of events they connect independent clauses like what i told you about and indicate a relationship between those clauses and the relationship is which one happens first which one happens later and the examples here <clears throat> the protesters gathered a few miles from downtown area then they marched toward city hall the police asked the marchers to stop before they reached city hall afterward the police began to arrest some of the demonstrators demonstrators those who march out and at first i was going to join the demonstration later i changed my mind so you see they are not that difficult <clears throat> okay what's next the upcoming lesson will be exercises on conjunctive adverbs which are on page 71 this one a very beautiful exercise page 71 in page 72 your ideas to generate i will cover this part next session but in a nutshell what did we talk about today we talked about conjunctive adverbs of contrast i told you about these conjunctive adverbs of addition these guys cause result these guys condition this one it's not conjunctive adverbs it is conjunctive adverb here we got just one and time sequence which i told you about but what about the word file in the word file i told you that conjunctive adverbs can connect independent clauses they show relationships of different types and those relationships could be contrast addition those relationships could be contrast addition cause result and condition conjunctive adverbs coordinating conjunctions they are synonymous with each other then here i told you that these three are the same this one talks about an opposite idea here with loads of examples we covered them x size one we talked about conjunctive adverbs of addition which are moreover furthermore in addition besides and in fact we talked about them all conjunctive adverbs of cause result therefore consequently as a result thus in hence which are synonyms and conjunctive adverb of addition uh, condition which is otherwise very beautiful to add in your grammar toolkit and here time sequence okay so final comment my friends i hope that you have enjoyed this lesson just one point for you advanced english uh, learners the usage of communicate what you mean this book in your writing and in your speaking significantly enhances your scores provided that you pay attention to what i say provided that you read these points these examples try to produce sentences like them and try to implement them in your writing and in your speaking okay this way surely you can feel relaxed that yes your writing and speaking are in safe hands but this is not just grammar vocabulary and lots of other ideas are working at place so i'm happy to have taught you this session i hope that you liked it provided that you liked it please share it with your friends and invite them to come and join this channel and in case you haven't subscribed to the channel please kindly 
do so. Thank you very much. I hope you have a brilliant day ahead of yourself. Take good care and bye.